Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Ten Different Books. So, my name is Jerry, and this video is a late, most anticipated, that was loud. <laughs> this is a late, my most anticipated books of 2019. Yeah, everybody like posted this like ages ago, but I'm not posting this, so yeah. So let's get into this list. Um, this is gonna be going in order of pub publication dates. Publication dates, there we go. Okay, so let's start off with, I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, so. It's definitely gonna be out because it is the 28th and this book comes out tomorrow. And I'll be putting a picture up here. So the first book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kaminer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but yes, A Curse So Dark and Lonely is coming out January 29th, which is tomorrow. The day I'm filming, um, because it is the 28th, the day I'm filming this. So it comes out tomorrow and and the main thing I know about this is that it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I'm always in the market for a uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling because I've read a few and there hasn't been one that I'm like, I love this. So I'm still searching for a Beauty and the Beast retelling that would just speak to my soul, you know? So yeah, that's one book that I'm looking forward to. The next book that I'm looking forward to in 2019 is I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella. This book comes out February 5th. Yes, this book comes out February 5th and uh, I can't remember exactly what it's about but it's, a Sof but it's a Sophie Kinsella book and she's an auto by author for me. So anytime she comes out with a new book, I'm like, yes, I need it. And my hope is that I like this book better than her book that she released last year, which was Surprise Me. Yeah. It was okay. I didn't love it. Yeah, so hopefully this one I love. The next book on this list is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name. This comes out February 26th and at this point in time right now, I can't remember I'm why with synopsis in my brain. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it's about, but involves queens and i love stories about royalty so yeah okay so i'm not gonna be reading the whole synopsis of this so um on goodreads the main thing that it says a divided nation four queens a ruthless pit pocket a noble messenger and and the murders that unite them so yeah i think I know when I read the synopsis before that it sounds interesting. That little like line sounds very intriguing. So I'm very excited to um, to get to this at some point. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm looking down because my computer's here. Yeah. So yeah. So now on to the next book. The next book I'm gonna be I'm looking forward to is Mirror Mirror. This is the sixth book in the A Twisted Tale series by um, Disney Press. Um, this book is going to be written by, well, is written by, by Jen Calonita. <laughs> See, it's Mirror Mirror. It's going to be, um, it's going to be taking a twist on the Snow White story. And the twist is, what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? So yeah, that should be interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. What if the evil queen had poisoned the prince? So yeah, that's the twist on it. And I'm, um, I'm actually currently reading the fifth book in the series, which is Part of Your World, which is a twist on The Little Mermaid, which the twist is what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula. Um, yeah, I'm only a few pages in, so I can't give you like, you know, thoughts. But anyways, now the next book that I'm really looking forward to is Broken Throne by Victoria Aveyard. This book comes out May 7th. So this is just a collection of short stories based in the Red Queen world. So, um, so you can see here, I've read the four books in this. You can't really tell because they're so shiny. I mean, my Red Queen books are here. I'm not sure if I'm pointing them, but it's right here. Um, yeah, so I've read those books and I'm interested to see what happens in these short stories. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to those. Then um, the next book that I'm looking forward to is which a lot of people are looking forward to is Again by Better by Christine Riccio, who 
is the booktuber here a major one um from Poem bananas books um so what i know about her book um she's she has um a writing series on her channel where she started writing this book january 2016 and she did like um updates um from starting from then on all the way on to now updating on like the progress and like just like everything that went into getting this book published i have watched all of her writing videos so i'm really excited to see that this is finally being published and excited to see um if i would like the book it's contemporary which i don't read a lot of but it's considered like i think i think yeah it's it's like a rom-com and i love rom-coms so it should be I, sh I should like it so yeah um and i know it's about um a girl named sean i think she's like um she's in college i think she's like she's pre-med and um she pretty much <laughs> um she's she's like doing over like her college experience because she hasn't done anything like a normal college student would have done so that's why the book is called again but better it's like She's doing it again, but better. Get it? And that's super annoying. I don't know if you heard. I think it was a motorcycle. I don't know. But yeah, I'm so very excited to see this. To see this. I'm really excited to read the book. The next book on this list is King's Bane by Claire Legrand, which is coming out on May 21st. So this is the second book in the Fury Born series. Is it? I'm not sure if it's a series or a trilogy. Um, but yeah, it's the second book. And... I did not love Fury Born like a lot of people have, but I am still really interested to see um, how the story will progress and what happens to these characters, especially because there's some things that we know happened, but it hasn't been like talked about yet. So I'm excited to see those things. So um, Fury Born is about um, these two is. Um, two different pers perspectives and they take place a thousand years apart and um it's prophesized that there will be a blood queen and a sun queen and um the sun queen is pretty much like the good queen the blood queen is like the evil queen so yeah so it's the stories of Rael and Eliana and um you will see how their stories intertwine um it was a very interesting premise and i am super excited to see how the story continues and what happens to these characters the next book on this list is rise by ellen goodlett this is the second book in the rule trilogy i believe it's a trilogy it was being pitched as three dark crowns meets pretty little liars and i love both those things so i was really i was really interested in reading the first book rule and i really enjoyed it it was fun like um reading it and like picking out like what pe why people were describing it as pretty little liars and I, so much I, I was getting so so many pretty little pretty little liars vibes and i loved it so i'm really excited to read rise and see what happens next so yeah, so I do really recommend Rule if you have, if you like, if you have read like Three Dark Crowns or read or watch Pretty Little Liars because it was really good. I liked it. The next book on my list is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. This comes out on June 30th. It's being pitched as Project Runway meets Mulan. So I'm like, I'm interested. That sounds like, that's very interesting like combination. I don't watch Project Run Runway, but I'm, um, I know the premise of it, so this sh this book should be interesting. And Elizabeth Lim, she wrote the I think it's the fourth book in the Twisted Tale series, which was Reflection, a uh, twist on Mulan. So it was the twist on that one was what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld? I really like that. One. That's my favorite so far of the Twisted Tale series. So yeah, so you love if you love Disney books, check out the Twisted Tale series. Um, and Reflection is my favorite one so far. But yeah, this is um, Project Runway meets Mulan. So I'm intrigued to see um, what the story is going to be about and what's going to happen. Next book on my list is currently untitled and it's the fourth book in the 
Three Dark Crowns series, which is just, this is gonna be the last book. Kind of scared to see how this is gonna end, to be honest. So yes, the Three Dark Crowns series is written by Kendar Blake, and the fourth book comes out on September third. So yeah. Um, so if you don't know, Three Dark Crowns is about these three. It's, it's about this island called Fenburn. And like every like generation, um, triplet queens are born and they all have different magical abilities. Um, in this case, there's Arsenal, who's a naturalist. Mirabella is an elemental and Katarine is a poisoner. So there's just like this event that happens once they turn 16 where they to see who is going to be the reigning queen they have to kill each other off to see who's going to be the queen so yeah so that's what the first book is about but then it just expands after that into like craziness into craziness and amazingness so if you love stories about like royalty and just like it just like a lot of crazy stuff happening i really recommend the series is really good the first book was kind of slow paced but then by the end you're like hooked and that ending in the first book which is like what and then also the ending in the second book was like what and the ending in the third book was like what <laughs> so yeah Kendra Blake knows how to write a good cliffhanger to keep you wanting to read the next one and I love it so yeah I'm really excited to See how the story ends and just what happened to these characters so the last book on this list is also a book that's currently untitled and it is the third book in the third and final book in the Renegades trilogy I read the first book Renegades last year I haven't read Arch Enemies yet which is the second book but I have it finally have it right here and sneak peek that's gonna be on my February TBR it was on my January TBR, but I couldn't get a copy until now, and it's today's the 28th, so I'm not going to be able to finish it in like four days, so it's going to be on my February TBR. Anyways, yeah, so if you don't know, Renegades is um, a superhero story, so there's Nova, who's like working for the Anarchists, and then there's adrian who's working for the renegades who are like the good people and then the and arnicates are like the bad people but it's really like and there's so much to the story so nova infiltrates the renegades took information on the renegades um but things get complicated of course i again <laughs> didn't love renegades as much as everybody else did but i'm still really intrigued after the ending to see what happens next and because like I said, no, I'm not going to say it because it may be a Renegade spoiler. Um, but yeah, especially, yeah, um, the ending of Renegades was really interesting and just like mind-blowing. So I'm really interested to see what's going to happen in Arch Enemies and to see how the story wraps up. This was actually supposed to be a duology, but then Marissa Meyer, she realized that she needed and she needed more time i guess more to, she she needed another book to completely like explore this world and completely explain everything and have everything like play out ha how it should play out so it got extended to three books which is awesome but yeah that's all the books i'm looking forward to this year there are definitely gonna be more books that pop up um that i learned about <laughs> throughout the year so i might post like um a spring anticipated books um spring winter wait what <laughs> i skipped fall and fall is my favorite spring fall wait i skipped summer too what is wrong with me i don't know my seasons <laughs> so i might do spring summer fall and then winter like the end of the year I, why what is wrong with me i don't know my seasons <laughs> wow anyways yes i'm super excited for these books please let me know down below what books you are looking forward to and i also will put down links for the goodreads for these books down below um in case 
I did a horrible, I probably did, did a horrible job explaining what these books were about or the ones that I hardly gave any explanation about what they're about. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave it down below so you can check those out. And down below as well, as always, all of our social media links will be linked in the, in the description box. So you can check us out on all of our social media platforms. I post mainly on Instagram. So yeah, check that out. That'll be down below. And if you like this video, please give it a like so I can know what kind of videos I should post here. Whew. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to become a member of our little family here on Second Living Books. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you guys here. And I'm going to blast the new Backstreet Boys CD, DNA, out now. Check it out. I really love this new album. I need to learn all the lyrics. So yeah, I'll catch you guys here next time on Second Living Books. Bye.